What's good? It's your boy Dan. I'm just giving y'all a proper introduction because I just kind of jumped into this video. Um, so as you can see by the title, this is me getting the car started, showing you guys that I finished the subframe finally, um, and then you guys know what happened and uh, all the trials and tribulations of trying to get this car started. If you're here, you're probably here from Instagram. So with further ado, here you go. So an update. I know I've been all over the place. New rear end is in. Don't mind this. This is just water that leaked in. New rear, end, new rear end is in. I'm assembling everything back here. I had to get new tow arms because the other tow arm was was bent, and I couldn't get the other one out without bending it. Um, so now I just you know got my ABS all set up so that it's out of the way. I gotta put these bolts in to hold this e-brake cable back up. Um, but rear trailing arm, tow arm, top control arm, lower control arm are all attached. Uh, suspension is attached, sway bar links are attached. All this is nice and stiff, that's all stiff. Now let's go to the vent side. So this is what I was banking on. So based on if it came in correctly or not, when the subframe went up, I knew that the chassis or the chassis was or wasn't bent. Chassis not bent, this thing went in money. Um, so there's a nice, like, um, it's a, it's a big, not a stud. It's like, um, it looks almost like a piece of a control arm that's just sticking out of the chassis and it goes into the subframe and you know, those points, if they're changed, this subframe that was not bent wouldn't have fit in and the bolts that go in the rear wouldn't have went in properly, which they all did. Everything went in good. The only damage is right here from the wheel, which is great. That's nothing. That's all just right here where it's it's all connected so i'm not worried about that um again same thing zip ties new tow arms this is all bolted up everything's all tied up bunch of uggaduggas to keep it all together um attached attached all that good stuff sway bars attached you know jacked it up make sure that they took the travel out so i could get everything super super tight uh, the next step is just gonna be putting all this back together getting some rims and uh, I'm gonna try to start the car today. So we'll see what happens. You know, I don't want more gas, but yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. All right, stop, stop, stop. What? No. Today, we get this thing to start. So, um, I couldn't figure it out. As you guys can see, um, we're getting backfire, stuff like that. Um, all stuff that was telling me, hey, like, uh, timing's off, timing's off, timing's off. Everybody keeps telling me, timing's off, timing's off, timing's off. I'm like, oh, I did my marks. I put my things to zero, um, all my marks, everything lined up. I knew it wasn't that. So I'm like, it's got to be some of the distributor. But I was like, I know I lined that up, right? And um, we tried advance it. We tried retarding it. So there's two things that were, were messed up with this. Five and six were labeled wrong. So these were mixed up. So that was already messing up the firing order. And then because of that, I was like, you know what? Let me just pull this out and redo everything. So I pull off all the, the wiring. I pull off the cap and I, I put everything to zero. I reline it up, I mark it, which before I lined it up, I didn't even take the cap off. I just kind of toss it in there. And I have watched a video now that where it goes in, these, for some reason, they go really far to the right. It's probably like normal distributors, but I'm not familiar with distributors. And on top of that, um, it just, it was what it was. So I lined it up with the mark. Now I did it with the cap off. Still was giving me a hard time. Still, I couldn't get it to line up with the line um, on the outside. So that was already telling me, even if I did line it up with the marks on the inside and I put it in, it could have went out way out of, of it, it, timing. Anyways, lined it up, put everything back together and then cranked her on and that's what you're about to see now. <laughs> <laughs> 